guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reading a story called Bill B. Moon. Written by Margaret Sperling and illustrated by Danny Snow. And this is how it goes. Bill B. Moon. One night, far away in the desert, a little Bilby left her burrow for the first time. Can you see the little Bilby? There she is. She sat still. Her ears alert, her nose twitching. She liked the sweet smell of the cool night air and the soft warmth of the sandy soil. But most of all, she liked the moon. It was big and round and shiny and bright and its silver light was soft and gentle. Each night when she left her burrow, she looked up to greet the moon. And each night the moon looked down and smiled. Can you see the big shiny moon? But then, one night, the moon didn't smile. Little Booby was worried. A piece of the moon was missing. See, can you see the moon get smaller? Oh no, I wonder what's gonna happen next. So that night, she searched the ground where the mulga trees grew. She met a hopping mouse, busy looking for seeds and insects. Oh, hopping mouse, said little Booby. Have you seen the moon tonight? A piece of it is missing. Oh no, said the hopping mouse. I will look in the spinifex grass. If I find it, I will tell you. Each night, the little Bilby saw that the moon was becoming smaller. Sand Dragon was sleeping in a hummock of grass. He was a wheelie daytime creature. Perhaps he would know what was happening. Oh, dragon, said little Booby. Have you seen the moon tonight? Half of it is missing. Oh, dear, said little dragon sleepily. I will look tomorrow. If I find it, I will tell you. Oh, no, half of the moon is missing. And still, night after night, the moon became smaller and smaller. And the desert became darker and darker. Echidna was scrabbling noisily in the dirt. Oh, Echidna, said little Bilby. Have you seen the moon tonight? More than half of it has disappeared. That's serious, said Echidna. Perhaps it's fallen into an ant nest. If I find it, I will tell you. Oh no, it's turned into a crescent moon. The moon was just now a thin silver crescent. I could ask Mom, thought little Bilby. He burrows through the sand. If pieces of the moon are buried, he might find them. Oh, Mole, called little Bilby loudly. Have you seen the moon tonight? Almost all of it has disappeared. Mole came up slowly from his sandy world. I've never seen the moon, he said sadly, but I've heard that it's very beautiful. I will dig carefully, and if I find it, I will tell you. The moon was very small. Not far away, Froglet was chirping. Oh, Froglet, said little Bilby, have you seen the moon tonight? It has almost disappeared. So it has, said little Froglet. I will call loudly and ask the other Froglets if they have seen it. If I find it, I will tell you. Oh no, the moon's gone very really small. I wonder what's happening. Then came the night where there was no moon at all. Little Bilby looked into the vast night sky. Where was the moon? Strangely, the stars were twinkling more brightly than she had ever seen before. But they weren't the moon. Oh, poor Bilby. I wonder if the moon will ever come back. Little Bilby felt sad, but she didn't give up. She searched high. She searched low. She looked in all sorts of places where she thought a moon might go. What are you looking for, little Booby? Can I voice from the dark? It was Boobock Owl. I'm looking for the beautiful round moon, said little Booby. It has disappeared. The moon hasn't really disappeared, said Owl. Sometimes we can see it, sometimes we cannot. It will come back soon. And Owl was right, for the very next night, a bright silver crescent appeared high in the evening sky. 
And each night, the moon became bigger and bigger, and the moonlight became brighter and brighter. The moon came back. Little Bilby hurried off to tell Sand Dragon, Have you seen the moon tonight? Half the moon is back. Poor Dragon was confused. First, half the moon was missing. Now half the moon was back. How strange, he thought, and he went back to sleep. Then one night, as the sky darkened and one by one the stars appeared, the beautiful round moon came back. See the round moon again! Moonlight makes whiskers silver, said Hopping Mouse. It sparkles on rocks, said Echidna. It glistens on dew, said Froglet. I'm glad the world has a moon, said Little Bilby. See all the animals? They sat on the sand and told Mole all about the moon, and the moon smiled. I hope you like reading this book with me. Stay tuned, because next time we're going to read another picture book like this, and I know you're going to have a lot of fun. Thank you. Please subscribe to my channel and like and share this video. Bye. See you next time.